play me some pimpin'. There we go. Don't get no white. Yeah, don't get no white. Yeah, don't get no white, man. That's it. Cheap motherfucker. <laughs> What's that right there? I hear it. Where the bass at? My sound off today. We ain't got no bass. This sound real pussy. Yeah. Bass out. J.O.N., what the fuck is that? I don't think he finished it yet. No, he, that's, he playing that shit J-O-N off his phone. J.O.N. was making the beat. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. J.O.N. was making the beat. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. Then he went to sleep. I said, no, Chico, you might be wrong. It sounds like he made this bitch on a cellular phone that needed to be plugged in on 20% and was like, when I get home, I'ma finish this bitch. It's going hard. You hear the claps? You hear the snares? I'ma what put the- something right there, yeah. yeah. I'ma leave that space and I'ma fill it in with some shit at my place I- when I get home. That shit gonna be on. I'm probably gonna play that shit through a microphone and it's gonna be lit when I balance it out and put the shit that be missing in that bitch now. Hey, J.O. Man made the beat and so player. He recorded this bitch on a Motorola Razor. That's why you can't hear the bass coming through the speaker. Hey. Get this bitch finished, the tweaker. No, Chico, that bitch already sounding lean. He made this bitch on an answering machine. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy as hell. He made it on an etching sketch, nigga, and I can tell. No, that sounds so swell. It's like he recorded it on his phone and left it on his own voicemail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't no hater, but this is sound great on an eight-track play. And yeah, but let me have it, cause I'ma make it harder. He made this shit on a calculator he got from his daughter. <laughs> 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 hey man, we hey, this bitch, the hardest man. shit I just seen. He made this bitch on a microwave screen. <laughs> microwave screen? On a microwave screen. <laughs> he just kept hitting the eight and the one sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Chico, when I said you gon' swear I'm a liar, he made this bitch on a goddamn air fryer. Air fryer. After this, J.O. when we leave you alone, he made this bitch on a rotary phone. <laughs> nah, I heard what you say. He put it on that phone, the one you got to pay. <laughs> I done heard it before. He made this bitch on a bottle at the lick store. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a horn? No, nigga, that's a flute. He made this bitch at the grocery store over by the fruit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tweaker, he made this bitch on the Walmart loudspeaker. <laughs> You think that I'm wrong. He made this beat on a Walkman with one headphone. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Oh, man. Yes, indeed. We in this bitch, man. We in this bitch. We are in this bitch. Like Like if this, yes, that's how we... Yes. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's this 2023. Is the, you know what? This 85 Way Studio, but this also is the womb, because we in this bitch. Oh. We can Ooh. call this bitch the womb, too. Oh. I the probably womb. won't look at none of these niggas that I got in there with me today, because they got their legs out and shit. But they didn't know that I had just got the air fixed in this motherfucker, so it's frosty in here. Yeah, it's real good. It yeah, you good feel here. me? I feel you. Y'all ain't dressed for the occasion. That's the job you want. I'm just telling the people so they don't think I condone this type of shit. How y'all boys feeling, man? How you feeling? What you mean? How you feeling? What you mean? How you feeling? Like, I'm trying to stay out my feelings. Ain't no money over there. That wasn't what I was asking. I was oh, asking how you I, feel. I just yeah. be reading regular shit in my mind. Yeah. I feel so real, so trill, like the recipient of a scholarship out of 
Poverty. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Deep. Yeah, that's mean right there. Yeah. Scholarship out of poverty. Living how I want to. Yep. Doing what you want to. When I want to. Being where you want to be. How I want to be there. However you want to be there. That's it. How you, yeah. how you feel, Otis? He ain't going to answer the Otis on camera. He think he better Oh, uh, yeah, that. I'm Otis. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to admit it. There you go. I'm a player. I there you go. Just said that shit like he was on one of them commercials <laughs> where they said, now a word for my satisfied customer. Yeah, I'm, I'm Otis. <laughs> <laughs> then me, baby. Then me. <laughs> I'm feeling motherfucking motivated because I watch y'all niggas on Netflix last night. You did? For the hell yeah, and I'm oh, proud as fuck. My God. I'm a, you know, we watch history, goddammit. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. You know your car getting broke into tonight. I ain't never did it like this before. We are shooting a special, and you is doing your OnlyFans content on stage. Yeah. I'm trying to get some more followers. Just do what you shake, 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 shake. Oh man, shake, 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 shake. Make the whole crowd shake, 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 shake. Daddy had me with 61. When he nutted, bro, wasn't nobody in there with me. It was just me. You was the only sperm. I was like, so don't nobody want to come? Okay, shit. This is easy. Ha-ha! Make some noise. Shake, 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 shake. I'm through smoking weed. That shit ain't got too strong. Why you say that? Because I was had the other day. Ordered a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> You lay between the legs. That, that ain't really a bad idea. I'm at home taking naps like I'm 10 months. Because it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and, and heavy D, D all in the limousine, limousine. Yeah. hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, it was a rap attack. <laughs> Mr. Magic, Molly Mall. I let my tape rock to my, my tape. tape pop. Come on, man, y'all ain't rock. That mean no I kept me. playing my tape. Till it didn't play no more. Till it broke. Come on, man. Pop. And you can always tell when your tape about to break. That shit started going, Ooh. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, and that shit just popped. That Man, was some sad days. That was the saddest. I remember I was trying to, and I'll never forget, bro. I was trying to catch this one. Uh, uh, Avant, uh, Separated first came out. And you know how they premiere a song on the radio? Man, I heard the tail end of it. And I was like, what is that? Nigga, I sat at the radio all day waiting to press play and record at the same time <laughs> to record this song. It was like midnight. They finally played that bitch again. I hit record and the tape popped, nigga. Damn. I was sick. Well, yeah, that was, because I ain't had them problem. I just used a CD. You was recording shit off the radio on a CD? No, I'm saying I just went to the CD he was, came out. He was born during the burner CD era. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yes, I was. DVD. My dad was a DVD man. But that don't mean you didn't listen to that. That nigga ain't old that, as you think he is. To, I'm, I'm 30, 35. 35. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought he went to school with Flatnum. Now, he was supposed to go to school <laughs> oh. at some point, but I don't know if it was with Flatnum. I thought that, yeah. see, that nigga I, tricked me. What? You treat me? I thought that nigga was young. Mm -hmm. I'm 35, bro. That ain't young. That ain't old. I ain't saying that ain't young. It ain't young. Right in the middle. You right here. You right here. Right 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 no, you ain't in the middle yet. You just this your first year of officially being grown. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's where the start. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh damn! I thought I was grown the whole time. Mm -mm. What was I? Nah, you a nigga an adult. Now you a grown ass man. At 35. Yeah. yeah. The first first year. I know I will, because I had done, I had got me a little ad for my birthday on third day and shit, and I just offered her fifty dollars. She ain't even want it. I was like, man, look, go get you something to eat, man. You said you ain't got you a little what? A little ass. Okay. And you just gave her fifty? After we were done. So you put a ten dollar. Find this field. No, I ain't have to pay for it. It was free. Oh. See, twenty five year old Otis would have never done that. Huh? That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. broke. Yeah. 25 year old is what you have done that. Yeah, because 25, 25, I'd ask her for some money after See? you got that. <laughs> Duality. Fuck that. You it's all about growth. growth. Yeah. And that's yeah, where man. you say how I feel. I feel like motherfuckers been bullshitting the whole time. Explain. Look how, look how that shit happened. You was there. 
You know how it happened. And remember all the people who was telling us it wasn't gonna happen the way that it happened? Right. And then it happened even bigger than they said how it wasn't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Like we succeeded harder than they thought we were going to fail. That is irrelevant. But to hear that shit in real life and know that it was already inaccurate when I was hearing it, where I was hearing it and who I was hearing it from, it's like, no, cause you don't even get it. I've al I already know it works. I was working it. But now we get to show the world why it worked, why they love it, and how, like, people don't know when they don't, when it's, some, it's nothing to compare it to. Right, I agree. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing. I think that it was the, as far as the journey, it was the newness and the, the, the unconventional nature of what we was doing. You right. hear, like, you know, how people talk about how it's never been done before, but when something's never been done before, people don't know how to receive it. So Hold on, let's see, that's why I got to backtrack right now. First of all, I'm grateful and thankful and I'm appreciative. You know, if you don't say that, people think that you don't mean that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's given already. Mm -hmm. They don't know what it took. You know, those moments of trying to get this shit right and figuring it out. So I appreciate the opportunity to do what we do because they could have just easily not fucked with it too. Yeah, but I think that even if, I don't think that it was an option of not fucking with it because we fuck with it so hard and that comes through, you know what I mean? Like, I think that when people see what we do, I think that it's a reflection of what we are putting out. Like, it's, energy is real. Right. And the energy we put out and have been putting out has been consistent. So now, like, I, like we were saying earlier, like, the game has shifted to where it's Netflix now. Right. But... You know, 10 years ago, everybody was still trying to get on HBO and buying for that. But the energy was the same. People were right. trying to put out something that they would gravitate towards. But we decided to put out something <clears throat> that we wanted people to fuck with. And the whatever the machine is, no matter what it ships to, yeah. they have to come to us because people, the people made what we do, what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's for black people anyway. Yeah, exactly. As good as they care up on stage. Yeah, right? all the way, you know nah. what I'm saying? But it's for all people, and it I think is. that- It is, and that's that what's that's so what... dope about it, is everybody gets to see and form their own opinion. Right, you know what I mean? That's the beautiful part. I love this shit. Like, I can ask, like, because we done been in the game together from the jump. Like, this is something that always keep me in, in I guess if you want to use humble as a word, but like I always think if somebody would have told us when we was walking up and down, you know, Times Square trying to send $50 home Western Union, that one day we'll be sitting here, would you have believed it? I felt, I I, mean, you know how my mindset is. I was like, yeah, of course, what else though? You get what I'm saying? Because even at that time, I already knew that was gonna be a phase two. Mm -hmm. Like that wasn't, like it didn't take us long to realize that even that opportunity wasn't as what it was presented. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, oh, okay. It don't just happen like that. Yeah, it had to hit the ground running. Right. But like I said, this, that's why I don't answer the question, will you see yourself in the next five years? Because Cause it might take you five more weeks to blow up. Exactly. Five more days. Yeah, and it's like I five never, more phone calls. I never, I I never limit myself that. to what my mind can drum up because if you'd have asked me that when I was an open micer at the Comedy Zone in Greensboro, I wouldn't have named half of the shit I've done already. Right. I wouldn't even have been able to dream up what God has put into my life that I've already accomplished. God so, and people too. I don't think people get enough credit. And what were God? Because you, like, in the come up, doing comedy for fucking damn near 10 years straight before you even do, like, anything major that you feel like is a project, you know what I'm saying? Like, up on a major platform, when those people build you up and they tell you that shit and they motivate you and they keep you going. But all the people who say positive shit, who believe in you, who just run up on you that you've never seen, that you didn't even know where, knew who the fuck you were. Those people push you to another level too, because you get that confirmation. Affirmation. That yeah. you got. 
good shit that you have, a, you know what I mean, that they fuck with you wherever it is. Like, even if you did some shit that's small and local and you posted it and it got a thousand views, you run into 800 of them people who literally watch that shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, that's crazy you say that because I was thinking the other day, just, you remember that first old school battle we did, the reaction that it got? Like, on the last day of the, the last first season. Now, I mean, I'm talking about when it actually came. Not just, oh, you know what, now that you say that, the whole entirety of it, because on the last day of the last season of the first, you know, season of Wild and Out we shot, we did that just off the top. And everybody was like, hey, man, when this shit hit, it's going to be. And we was like, all right, you know what I mean? We don't even know if this shit going to come out for real. But then when it came out, you remember you checked the Twitter? I had probably about maybe a 1,000 followers at that time, maybe at that. Man, I checked my mentions. I had 690-something mentions after that old school battle came out. And at that time, I was like, what the fuck? I'd never seen no shit like that before. So that was the first time that I had ever seen a response like you was talking about in the masses. But that individual, like you said, them people that come up to you that's been seeing you from the beginning, today is so crazy because a lot of those people who would come and watch me at the Comedy Zone do open mic was like hitting me today like, man, this is so amazing. I've been watching you from the beginning, man. I knew you was going to be something. And those people actually did tell me I was going to be something. Bro, I remember I had did a show. I want to say in like... Dayton, Ohio, mm -hmm. whichever one of them comedy clubs where that shit look like you're in the shower. Toledo. Yeah. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I, I'm talking shit. This lady in the front row was like, I've been to nine of your shows. And somebody else was like, I've been to 12 of them. And then this white dude who was just sitting there, I've been to about 35 of your shows. Man, who the fuck is that? I would never forget this shit. It's just, you never know. Who paying attention. Like, who paying attention? Yeah. I don't know. That should be crazy, because now people are like, oh, shit, we watching it in London. Yeah. That's but crazy. they supposed to have been watching it. But see, people, it's, it's like that attachment, you know what I mean? And you can have something, but when, when a certain something gets attached to it, it's kind of like, you know what I mean, getting your product in Walmart. You know what I mean? You can yes. be selling that shit. I mean, hand That's over That's exactly fist. what it's like. We in Walmart We now. in Walmart now. Like, it's like you could be, it don't matter how good you do it locally, nor how many other stores you done had your product in. Once you get in Walmart, you in Walmart. We in that bitch. You know what I mean? It's not, and that's the thing people don't understand. It's not about how you, when you get into a space like that, it's not about how much you sell. It's about how much they buy. I'm watching that shit every day. At me too. Every day. Don't fuck around about not Every yeah. day I'm going to watch that shit. I told yeah. nigga, I stayed Even when I'm not night. watching yeah. it and I'm about to go to sleep, I'm yeah, leaving that on. shit on the keep TV. It on. I keep started calling somebody at 12 o'clock hitting it one night. Like, what the fuck going on? I stayed up at 3. They didn't put the subtitles on there, so yeah. even motherfuckers that who can't hear about to watch that this shit. Yeah, <laughs> niggas that can't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, somewhere, somebody reading that shit. The hey, Joe, man, Japanese. make sure you put the captions on this shit, man. We got some people who can't hear who want to who want to read it. Word up. And we fuck with them too. Y'all got some people in Japan watching that shit. The caption in Japanese. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They just looking at us and like they are so black. <laughs> They fascinated by how black how we are. Black we are they right, are all so the way. fucking black. All the way, man. <laughs> all the way. They love that shit. Yeah, man. And it, it be the for me, it's like the response and seeing how people are receiving something that, you know, we've been doing for so long. And it's like, it's always crazy when somebody sees something that you've been doing for years and they react to it like it's never been seen before. Yeah. It hasn't. It's crazy. They I mean, haven't shit, seen haven't. this shit before. But it's but it's it's wild to see people who you would have thought have always been watching it say man I, man I, and they can't it's it's undeniable when it's in Walmart right. you know what I'm saying you you can act like you don't see it everywhere else huh. but when you walk in Walmart and see that display you be like nigga y'all in man hey man I gotta call you man I just seen your <laughs> chips niggas, in Walmart nigga you niggas are at the airport yeah I wonder exactly. how many people <laughs> haven't watched this shit on purpose yeah I don't want to see no niggas. Turn that law and order on, man. I'm tired. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Shout out to all the people who tried to ignore this shit. But you can't. You can't. Yeah. And you can't. You can't. And that's the beautiful part of it. And I, and watching it, it's like, man, you know what I mean? This is a. This Give me some of your commercial. favorite 85 South moments. 
period. Period in the history. Ever? Oh my God. When you said that bitch wake up in the morning and fly out the window like a pterodactyl, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That shit, <laughs> that nigga said, <laughs> bro, I almost threw up, my nigga. That, uh, man, it's so many, bro. It's so many. Fly as the blow up dog. <laughs> um, uh, hey, man. Me and you as the crackheads. Uh, <laughs> you when you said the nigga in New York. <laughs> What you said, bro, I got on the train. It's just getting you the train. <laughs> Make him go find it. Uh, go find that. New Make York. Him go find it. The New York episode, man. Oh, my God. I mean, it's so many songs, man. Uh, uh, when we was in Macon. Uh, <laughs> Nigga, I was watching the Tulsa episode earlier. I said, we in Tulsa. Tell the bitch to put some toast in the toaster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that, that Tulsa one when you was like, man, them white, them, when you got to do hey, man, please, man, please. Ah! Oh, oh, my God, man. Hey, your ass crazy, man. Hey, man, listen, them. them Chicago, where they had that first had the uh, auto two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that was Hannibal Burris. No. That yeah, was Hannibal Burris, yeah. yeah. That was something that took it to us. I think that was one of the moments that really. For us, in the moment, we realize in that moment, like, oh, we doing some different yeah, shit yeah, right yeah. here. Cause, Cause it's never prepared. And they just break out in song. Yeah, and we never knew it. Like, and he came, History. I'm assuming to, you know, I guess he, we had Bro, no we idea. we used to literally walk through the whole crowd. Yeah, yeah. You remember this shit? Yeah. Like the entire crowd. Yeah. That's where that skew me came from, in South Carolina. Like walking through the crowd, bro. Like it's so many songs, like, my, my, it's so many moments at 85 South. Why y'all wanna do so, a soundtrack like that? But it's crazy, cause it's so many that, uh. We will, Big now Belly we got nigga, the studio, we going to Big that Big Belly bitch. nigga and Macon. I'm talking about with all the songs y'all come up with on stage. Big Belly nigga and Macon. What you think we gonna come off stage and just go remember them or something? Uh, no, hell no. IUD in New York, do it like outside that, yeah. forever in New York. She's confident. Uh, she's confident. D- them titties are mine. Even them titties that ne- is mine. Them, even though that would never, we never see that one, but that one was classic. San Antonio. Yes. Them titties is, is mine. Is that a long lost San Antonio episode? I think that's. Joe, drop the episodes. Hola, mi gente. This is Wilmer Valderrama, executive producer of the new podcast, De My Abuelita First, part of iHeartRadio's My Cultura Podcast Network. Each week, host Vico Ortiz and Abuelita Liliana Montenegro will play matchmaker for a group of hopeful romantics who are putting their trust in Abuelita to find them a date. Your job right now is to get on Abuelita's really good side. Our Abuelita definitely knows best. On Date My Abuelita First, three single contestants will vie for a date with one lucky main dater, Except to get their heart, they have to win over Abuelita Liliana first. Oh, Hi, Liliana. Yes, we are ready for love. Through speed dating rounds, hilarious games, and Liliana's intuition, one contestant will either be a step closer to getting that pan dulce, if you know what I mean, or a step closer to getting that chancleta. Let's see if chispas will fly or if these singles will be sent back to the dating apps. Listen to Date My Abuelita first on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. How Rude Tanneritos is the Full House Rewatch podcast you've been waiting for. Each week, get together with iconic characters Stephanie Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, also known as actresses Jodie Sweetin and Andrea Barber, as they team up to relive every episode of your favorite Friday night comfort show. We spent our entire childhoods on a little show called Full House, playing frenemies, but becoming besties whenever the cameras weren't rolling. And now, 35 years later, it's our biggest adventure yet. Get ready for Jody and Andrea to tell all as they take an in-depth look back at life in and around the Tanner home from the very, very beginning. So if you think you know everything there is to know about Full House, how rude. We'll be reliving every moment with you. And we'll be joined by our Full House family, including all your favorites from 192 episodes. We'll reveal the hidden treasures you may have missed within the show. And we'll take a trip down memory lane together. Listen to How Rude Tanneritos on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. My name's Laverne Cox. I'm an actress, producer, fashionista, and host of The Laverne Cox Show. You may remember my award-winning first season. 
I've been pretty busy, but there's always time to talk to incredible guests about important things. People like me have been screaming for years. We got to watch the Supreme Court. What they're doing is wrong. What they're doing is evil. They will take things away. And I can only hope that Dobbs is that like Pearl Harbor moment. Girl, you and I both know what it took to just get through the day in New York City and get home in one piece. And so the fact that we're here and what you've achieved and what I've achieved, you know, that's momentous. It's not just us sitting around complaining about some bills. The only reason that you might think, as Chase said, that we're always miserable is because people are constantly attacking us and we're constantly noticing it. Listen to The Laverne Cox Show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share. Hey guys, it's Angie Martinez. Check out my podcast, Angie Martinez IRL, where we have beautiful conversations with all types of people. From Kelly Rowland to Mike Tyson to Kim Kardashian to JT from the City Girls. These are conversations about real life. We talk about love and death and our mental health and how we navigate all the ups and downs of life. And I promise every episode, there'll be a takeaway for you to use in your own real life. Check out Edge Martinez IRL on the iHeartRadio app, on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Are you ready for a second season of the Super Secret Bestie Club podcast? My name is Curly. And I'm Maya. Oh my goodness. Let's say a little prayer before we start this. This is going to be the best podcast episode we've ever done in our freaking lives. That's right. Season two. Super Season secret, two, baby. Super secret super bestie secret, club. Super, super secret super bestie secret club. Super secret bestie club. <laughs> <laughs> this is a best friends club, and you can definitely sit with us. Each week, we'll talk about relationships, heartbreaks, and of course, our favorite L word. Love. And... Horoscopes and astrology, according to our point of view, of course. We're not oracles, but we know a toxic Virgo when we see one. I'm, I'm pointing to Curly. Woohoo! Listen to the Super Secret Bestie Club as part of the My Cultura Podcast Network, available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. We got to celebrate. We got to give them some shit to let them know that Mega 85 South Show is on Netflix. So I might just have to say, welcome back to the 85 South yes, Show sir. on Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix. Every time I don't never tell me what, 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 what I can't do, nigga. Gee, <laughs> we used to borrow Netflix password. Now we on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> you on there. On that, seeing that screenshot. Next year, we're gonna have us a Tubi special. Yeah, oh, the Tubi movie coming. A Tubi movie is, I'm talking about, we gotta do a Tubi movie. I wanna do a low budget movie first. I want them to, I want the world to see how good we can make a low budget hood classic, nigga. We need to make us a little low budget Mm -hmm. ass movie. The Call Center, some with a general ass title. Call center. Man, I'm leaving the call center. Yeah. You ain't finna do center. shit. <laughs> you gonna sit your black ass over there and answer them motherfucking call. Oh, oh, here come Big Larry. Hey, hey, hey. It's my goddamn call center. All calls go through me. Yeah. Come on, Up man. Up the street. That's the name let's of the movie. Let's do something stupid, street. man. Let's, up the street. Let's do a movie where and everybody trying to get that GED together. about a nigga that need to get a ride up the street. <laughs> That's the whole movie. Just call that bitch up the big street. No, we need to do one where everybody trying to get their GED together. <laughs> <laughs> and get what we going to call it. What? GED. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The process. Getting it you say together. What? The process. The GED. Process. Getting get it together. 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 Get it. Get it. Together. Together. Yeah. GED. Yep. Yeah. That's it. That's three right there. Yeah. The call center up the street and GED. That's three. That's three we could put out right there. All the way. Where mama? Where mama? <laughs> Bro, where mama? This kid, where mama? Just where mama? This the movie. We just looking for mama. We don't know where mama at. Where is mama? <laughs> mama. 
<laughs> then when you find that, the end, she's just like, hell, y'all looking for me? <laughs> That's it. Did it go on? That took a whole movie to find out. <laughs> it took the whole movie to find what mama I'm was grown. She was Don't like, worry about where the fuck I'm at. Right. She go be called <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> and then you come Mama up and went on to whoop everybody else yep. for getting and, her business. Exactly. Start, they start doing very short film. Very <laughs> short film. With Mama. Then you come back. Very short two. film. That's the whole swim category. With we'll, Daddy. We'll win everything no, in the we very drop, short film we category. We drop trailers all day. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Man. With Mama. With, that's hilarious. Yeah. You just well, put Daddy trailers out the <laughs> movies that ain't never coming. <laughs> hey, she go, Well, Daddy going to be three minutes long? Yeah. Well, Daddy. <laughs> Don't ask me about your motherfucking daddy. Ask your daddy about your daddy. <laughs> then the shit just go off and mama just going off. Chico being go. <laughs> just a black mama cussing hey, for five I'm minutes straight. You. They was at the studio watching the Tubi movie earlier. I caught them. I was like, y'all ain't here watching the Tubi movie. Tubi they was like, the since TV one got, got a series, I want to do a series of all the shit your father wasn't doing when he was not being a good father. This was, these were some of the best moments of this nigga life, unbeknownst to you. You missed my birthday party. She go be. Sir, wait a minute now. Wait, <laughs> hey. Look, hey, go on, call hey, hey. be. I, 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 I was on tour with Public Enemy when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you was born. You know I was a rapper in 93. I, 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 hey, man. <laughs> it got to go on when he get rid of the Elsa. Look, let me tell you what happened. She go be. <laughs> Some of these it. motherfuckers so short, all they do is go off. <laughs> Show the title, tree go big. <laughs> yeah, man. That, that. Look, but man, see, you ain't got your, my money, I'm going to kill your favorite, ass. What's your favorite, though? Now I think about it. What's your favorite hood movie? Ooh. My favorite hood movie? Your favorite hood movie. Like, low budget? Are, yeah, just low the, the real hood. Not, not the mainstream. I got not a, the menaces aside. I got, got a new favorite the movie, though. I, the the, the one movie. you just did. Oh, the uh, Dirty Third? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go that's ahead. that's That don't count over there. My all-time favorite independent movie is Who Made the Potato Salad. You fucking who made the potato salad? But I would, you know, it's like, before it was that one, it was I'm About It. I think I'm About It is one of the greatest movies ever yeah, I'm made. I'm About It is amazing. For real? Best what? Beat, man. You ain't never seen I'm About yes. It? Oh, yeah, I'm About It is classic. That's a hood one classic. of these motherfuckers been talking to friend. I don't know who it is. Could be you, could, could be, be you, you, could, could be, be you. you. That mother me and X was like, yeah, catch this. <laughs> yeah, see if you catch the next car wash. Car wash? From the, the 70s car wash? No, car the, wash. Car wash with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. That ain't really <laughs> low budget. Who all over there? Shit, B. Stacy. <laughs> nigga, don't say my name, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga you think you that Destiny Child? Nigga, car wash is hard. Yeah, that, that motherfucker. Oh, that, that shit. Is the East Siders is one, too. Yeah. Who? East Siders with Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shit, what about the movie when Silk the Shocker was doing karate? Hot boy. <laughs> that nigga was doing karate. Shut the fuck up. He man. was. He was, bro. <laughs> he was, <laughs> man. He was. Silk the Shocker was, that nigga had a dojo and everything. Like, that nigga was. The first I got the hook up. Yeah, the first I got the hook up. Ball of blocking. Ball of blocking. Ball of blocking. Oh, yeah, ball of blocking with that crap. Man, that's your problem. That had Somebody Kirkland need to it. beat your ass. Yeah, uh, Somebody need Kirkland to beat your stupid ass up. Uh, but, but niggas sleep on niggas sleep on choices. I fuck with choices. Choices was my yeah, shit, choices bro. Choices Choices, what else? Choices uh, was hard. It's a, uh, the, the, man, it's a DC, it's a DC hood movie. And motherfuckers ain't seen it. Uh, Taraji P. Henson in it. What is it, it got, called? It got Harrison, Woody Harrison. I'm going to tell you another one, no, a good one. Black Spring Break. Black Spring Break is hilarious. With Dayron Sims. Dayron Sims. Dayron Sims. Dayron Sims. Dayron Sims. Dayron Sims. Dayron Black Spring Break is hilarious. With Dayron Sims. 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 Limo Zine. <laughs> Tripping a good ass movie. Dude. Tripping. Tripping, yeah. That's and it. Three Strikes. Some Even of them shit so budget. terrible, they good. Fat Beach. Fat, Fat Beach, Beach was yeah. Good. Three Strikes, my shit, too. Three Even though it ain't low budget, yeah. but still. Nah, yeah, yeah, we're going hood there. classics. Hood, hood classics. classics. Shout us. You know yeah. what? The first low budget, uh, another one that went, like the Leprechaun. The first Leprechaun? Leprechaun in the Hood? The Leprechaun in the Hood, hood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit was disrespectful. Oh, that bro. shit was goofy as That hell. shit was goofy as hell. Yeah. Tales from the Hood is a hood classic to me, too, man. Mm -hmm. Tales from the Hood, bro. They're motherfucking nigglets, my nigga. 
That nigga yeah, that called That movie made me hate dolls, for real. Huh? That movie made me hate dolls. Yeah, that ne- them necklaces. But, yeah. but, but the scariest one to me of all the stories, the scariest one was the one when... Uh, David uh, Allen Greer? No, no, not David Allen You were scared of the abusive stepfather? Yeah. yeah. The, nah, not David Allen dad, Greer. My dad was, the, was the last one when them <laughs> niggas found out they was dead, bro. Uh, that was when that nigga smacked that nigga with the pace. Hmm. He was like, oh, whoa! The stuff. And they said, the shit. <laughs> the shit. The shit is Ooh. right over here. And when we said, this ain't who, who no think funeral the home. Best crackhead. Ever. And it ain't the Terror Dome night. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to hell. <laughs> to hell. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Nah, who y'all think the best crackhead ever? The best crackhead ever. Uh, Halle Berry, Samuel Jackson, Ooh, and, no, and, and Jungle, Jungle Fever. Fever. No. She. Oh, ain't nobody fucking with Jungle Fever. Like, the mama on uh, 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 Cause uh, I'm a uh, crackhead. The mama on uh, Holiday that, Heart. Nah, that nigga said, I hate the resort to knocking old people over the head for money, but, but I do it. it. <laughs> you know I do it. I do it. I, I, you know I like getting high. That nigga I, always start I, dancing I, when he yeah, wants yeah, money. I'm Into a, my gator. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, yeah. Get yeah. the motherfucker right there. Get the motherfucking money. Halle Berry. the motherfucking TV. Yeah, yeah. All the Where's way. Where's the TV, Gator? You know where the TV I is. I smoke the motherfucking TV. The man's yeah, lost. I, I Can you believe say, that, that shit? Daddy Sorry, pop, motherfucker. That nigga daddy popped him to my mate. That dad just for you. Yeah. <laughs> that so. nigga pulled out a little doo-doo by uh-huh. that big, hit his ass in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should, Spike Lee should make more movies like that. Because yeah, he bro. missed a whole generation. Yeah. He It'd got, be difficult now, though. No, it wouldn't. Spike Lee got his hand on a lot of movies, though, that they we just don't know about. He done, we he should done. know about them. Yeah, I agree. Nigga, we knew about all them other ones. I agree. Get back to making them good-ass black stories, man. I agree. And when I was becoming an alpha, my nigga, I had watched School Days, and I had seen it before, but that shit... It hit different it when... It hit different when you, boy, I'm talking about when them niggas... And I was, you know, becoming an alpha. So that scene when them niggas was at that step show, they were with the brothers of the illustrious Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And them niggas, <clears throat> I was like, ooh. They made y'all learn that shit. Yeah, hell yeah, we, we did it at our probate. <laughs> We did, we definitely was at our probate. <laughs> 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 For I real, bro. All the way. This nigga here. Yeah, he long stroke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's. But my, what's your favorite Spike Lee movie, though? I gotta say, do the right thing, bro. Do the right thing. That's a classic. Mine. He I got game. Say. Yeah. He got game. That's dark. It's kind of dark. He got game. Jesus nigga, you you right looking different. at me with all that familiarity, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> <laughs> all I'm gonna tell you the one that, that like resonated with me the most though is okay. Crooklyn. Oh, Crooklyn, man, that's my daughter <clears throat> mama favorite Spike movie. Spike Lee wrote that too. Yeah, Spike Lee. A yeah. Spike Lee joint. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Crooklyn was good, man. Yeah. Niggas yeah, forget man. about Bamboozle though. Bamboozle, oh, bamboozle. Yeah. bamboozle. Yeah. it's hilarious, my nigga. Boy, is that, that one with Ron? I be smacking them hoes. <laughs> I be smacking my hoes. <laughs> Everyone knows it goes. <laughs> smacking these hoes, smack them to the floor. Smacking these hoes, smacking these hoes. Say I. I be smacking my hoes. I be smacking my hoes. Ah, I be smacking my hoes. <laughs> Thank you. It was oh, like, man. Like, uh, media oh, man. Did, niggas no. is a beautiful thing. No, niggas is a beautiful thing. <laughs> what's, that, what's that other one he wrote with uh, Robert Townsend, man, when they was tr- Hollywood Shuffle? Hollywood, nah, that was just uh, Robert, Robert Townsend, Townsend. Oh, did okay. Hollywood Shuffle. The Return of the Zombie Pimp. My bad. More Better Blue. More, More Better, Better Blue. That's a, a good one. That's a classic. That's a good one. Him and, him and, him and, uh. I feel like that nigga wrote And then Malcolm X probably. Now check this know. out, though. Okay. One night I'm in L.A., though. I'm in L.A. though. Yeah, one of my favorite characters. Hold on, hold on. I'm in L.A. though. I'm in L.A. though. I'm in L.A. You know how I be when I be in L.A.? Uh-huh. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on L.A. time in business. Right. Man, I'm on, st- I'm, I'm on stage at the comedy store, right? Uh-huh. I get off stage. Guess who out there? Who? My fucking Spike Lee. For real? Fucking with it. That's crazy. The Don Cheadle character in Mo Better Blues, one of my favorite characters ever. Mouse? No, that was Denzel Washington. Yeah, then yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know Don Cheadle was his yeah. homeboy. Yeah. Like my favorite. But who your favorite movie character ever? If you got a, if you got a favorite. In movie all, all the time, movies. In all the movies ever. Black. I got a number one. Black. Who? Period. Period. I got a number one. Who? What's your? I gotta hear. Uh, Odell Roby, Jackie Brown. 
Odell Roby, nigga. I like, can do period? it. Oh, what? Man, Odell Roby, the coldest nigga ever. The way he got Chris Tucker to get in that trunk of that car on that movie, and they say, look, man, you remember the uh, three machine guns I sold last year oh, out of that's 12 that, that I nigga got? Who from, uh, from uh, Fire Heartbeat. No, that's Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Samuel Jackson is Odell Road. Oh, okay. That nigga finesse Chris Tucker to get that I'm trunk. He's like, look, I'm, I'm going to tell him I'm going in the trunk to show him the goods. You pop out, rack this motherfucker. That nigga Chris Tucker was like, man, I ain't finna get no, yeah, I ain't finna shoot nobody. I ain't say nothing about you shooting nobody. All you got to do is put it at him there. Get the idea. He said, man, I ain't getting no goddamn truck. He's like, man, we ain't going nowhere but to Koreatown. We ain't going to be in there no the more nigga than who 10 had, minutes. Who had the, uh, the bodyguard with the motherfucker part. for no minutes, man? And he about- said, man, I can't believe you do me like this. This nigga said, do you like what, man? I want to help you. I just don't want to ride in the truck or no car. He was like, well, how small was that jail cell, motherfucker? <laughs> and then, you know, I got him. He was like, look, after we get finished fucking with these Koreans, take it to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles on me. That Skull special, smothering onions, gravy, collars, that's some good eating. Yeah. <laughs> got that nigga in the trunk, rolled him a plate, strawberry letter 23, Pulled around the corner, jumped out the truck, jumped out the cop, opened the trunk, shot that nigga two times in the head, and pulled off. Coldest nigga ever, man. That nigga pulled up on Robert De Niro with Chris Tucker body in the trunk. I remember that movie. He opened up the trunk and was like, nigga, who the fuck is this? He yeah, said, okay, what do you do? He said, that's that's Beaumont. Was like, who's Beaumont? Favorite An movie. An employee character. I had to let go. Oh, that nigga said, what'd he do? Oh, he put himself in a position where he was gonna have to do 10 years in prison. That's what he did. And if you know Beaumont, then you know ain't no way he can do 10 years. Yeah. And if you know that, then you know Beaumont's gonna do anything Beaumont can to keep from doing them 10 years, <laughs> including telling the federal government any and every motherfucking thing about my black ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's a situation of him or me. And you best believe it ain't gonna be me. Yeah, that nigga's a cold nigga, man. I'm gonna I'm go with, uh. I like Idris Alba, bro. Idris who? Idris Alba. Who the fuck is, is what Idris character? Idris Alba. Elba, nigga? Elba. Oh, this I nigga that said. Was, I was about to say, I'm who, from Atlanta, what bro. Movie, Idris Alba. What movie is Idris, Idris Alba? Alba. <laughs> like, what did Idris Alba? You know what, I'm from what, Atlanta, bro. That Idris, Alba. Idris Alba? I thought that was, no, I'm thinking you saying that's a movie character. I thought no. Idris Alba was in oh, a look. movie I'd never seen. That goddamn Beast of No Nation. I ain't never seen that. Oh, my God. Listen. Beast of No Nation. You what never seen about? that color? That nigga Idris Alba. He Elba. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <laughs> probably watched this shit. Who is that asshole saying my name like that? I'm talking to you, nigga. Idris <laughs> Alba. <laughs> Listen, bro. He like he like this African uh, warlord. Okay. And it's like this little boy. You know they're, they're refugee. They come in, kill everybody. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna watch it tonight, bro. We'll rap. Listen, you. Besides Beast that motherfucking no Eight of Five South show. For real? There's not another better show on that bitch. I ain't seen it. It's a nothing. series. It's a movie. Okay. All right, like, bet I'm going to watch this shit. whole African. Like, it's more shit. than weed, man. It's a good-ass movie, bro. Beast of No Nation. Beast of No Nation. That's what I'm going to put that on the playlist. I got to see that. I ain't never watched that. When I first heard Idris Elba talk in real life, it fucked Why me up. Said? Because, bro, like, this nigga was Stringer Bell on the wire. I'm trying to think of If I had to pick up. Favorite movie character of all time. I don't. I never thought about Man, it. Man, if I had to pick one for you, I think you'd pick pick a nigga like JD's Revenge or something. Now that's <laughs> a cold <laughs> motherfucking like, nigga. You know that's yeah. I fuck with all that. That's what I'm saying. Like I done seen every she old said, pep that's movie. That's the best fucking I Man. ever had. That's because you fucking with the Ace. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you put the whole I got mad about Damn. it. <laughs> He got put the whole I got mad at himself. Yeah. Damn, that nigga put the whole I got mad at himself. Damn. <laughs> Yo, hey. I'm, it might be Nino Brown, though. Wesley? Man, that's a cold one. Nino Brown. No, Wesley man. Peart? No, Nino Brown. Nino nah. Brown. Oh, you said oh, you a said character. Favorite movie character. character. Yeah. Oh, a character. Yeah, your favorite character in a movie. You know what I mean? It don't have to be an actor. I'm I got, I, and the daddy from Sugar Hill, too. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, what that's, do you want that's, from that, me? That's the same nigga from uh, Tell from the Hood. Yeah. 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 All the way. He's a cold nigga. Creeper. You know, whispers. Creeper was the crackhead in the Dolomite movie. Oh, yeah. Hamburger Pen. I got to say Pan. Bumper Johnson. Oh, you oh, talking about Hudlin? Bumper Hullin. Johnson, man. Hullin. Yeah, Hudlin. Lawrence Fishburne, that's yeah. a cold one. I fuck with Yeah. <laughs> Furious man. Styles was a cold ass character. Furious Styles, Styles was a cold, cold character, too. Bro. Lawrence Fishburne, that's, the, that's a good conversation. Yeah, like, who played the coldest niggas in movies? 
Back then, you either had that type of daddy, you either had a furious style type daddy, or you had a Nino bro. You know, yeah. nigga either so dope or nigga was conscious. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't there. Yeah, he wasn't there. Yeah, but that's that. Hoodlum man, hoodlum so crazy. Carlos, did you smell it with him? I just, I just hate when, when they make movies about black people and they be like, you can't feed this baby with drug money. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, the fuck you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Now that's what you know they be miscommunicating with the hood. Yeah. They might have said that at first, but after a while. You can feed that baby with Yeah, that. you can feed that baby some steak with drug money, especially depending on what era it was in. The mamas didn't like the drug money in movie back then. They always thought, get this dope money out of my house. You a liar. They always get a mama a whack yeah, ass job. Mama, yeah, when mama yeah. be working at the mama, cleaner. Mama, you are a subway mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, son, in 90 days, we all going to have health and dental insurance. Yeah. One of my benefits. Mama, you ain't going to never make it out of here fixing these dishwashers. Hush your mouth. <laughs> oh, now you take your dope money and get the hell out of here. I'm going to feed my family with that. <laughs> Before he gets to the door, she got a, some whack-ass Bible verse. I'd rather sell crack in hell than to have a dope dealer time. <laughs> But mama, I get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, it, then it goes to a monologue. I couldn't believe my mama would even talk to me that way when all I was trying to do was help the situation we was in. But now I realize I'm really on my own. <laughs> then it cut then they had that one scene where the white cops show up. Miss Jackson, Miss Jackson, can I ask you a few questions about your son? I don't have a son. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you remember anything, you give me a call. Yeah, that's how it be in the movies, boy. The movies be wack as hell. They, they, they let the mama run back into the sun before the police get to them, though, again. Oh, yeah, all the they way. They gonna lock your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna lock your nigga ass up. Yeah, they, this is what a nigga really balling now. A nigga out there with a mink on, like, yeah, taking, yeah, yeah. taking pictures. <laughs> nigga be like, hey, yo, hey, yo, smooth. Your mom, Hey, yo. your moms, man. <laughs> So this is what you doing. <laughs> then, you, then you gotta stop your gangster. Hey, yo, 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 chill, bro. It's my mama, man. Your mom's so, what you doing out here. So your name's not Anthony no more. <laughs> Mr. Oh, should I say Mr. A Money? <laughs> not that you care or anything, but they just put a lien on the house and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I did the best I can. They let me go from the subway mechanic job and everything's just been going crazy. And I just want you mama, to come mama, home. Mama, 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 mama. Come home. Mama, look at me. Stop all that crying. I paid the house off this morning. Everything's taken care of. I don't need you crying. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. All I've been trying to do is make it better for us. And that's what this does, mama. You see all these people in here? They work for me. <laughs> if you call that work. <laughs> Coming soon to Tubi, nigga. Chico call her bitch. Chico bitch. Chico bitch. <laughs> As soon as he found out, he did it. Hey, man, I know one character that was cold as fuck, but he's the main character. Who is that? That nigga from, um... Oh, oh, yeah. Cut, oh, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. One of the coldest niggas ever. Clip the power. That nigga clipped the power. That, 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 that nigga was walking out of the back. He may stay away from my woman. What oh, did you say? Cut it. That nigga oh, said, what man. did you say? Man, he was like, yeah. Months. Yeah, suck it. Yeah. Ah, suck it. Suck it, nigga. Suck it, nigga. <laughs> that, that nigga said, suck it. <laughs> suck it, nigga. Yeah. She wasn't doing it like that before you left for the war, was she? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Never fight the hand that feeds you, nigga. 
Ooh. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that nigga Cuddy was a cold Kirby was the raw nigga in that That nigga Cuddy pulled up sucker on a lollipop. Uh-huh, Kirby, Kirby sucker. Kirby. You grabbed the wrong leg. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> just trying to eat something, man. I know I got a big leg. And you done grabbed the wrong motherfucking leg. I should use it to kick you between your fucking shoulder blades. Hey, Remember man. Remember the daughter came out? He's like, bitch, you got more heart than your old man. You got more heart than your punk ass daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a classic bro, right that's there, a classic, man. That's bro. a classic right there, man. All Another the classic on man niggas don't talk about, bro, is Colors, bro. Oh, what? Colors was a good I classic. I am a nightmare <laughs> walking, <laughs> psychopath talking. <laughs> you know my favorite part of Colors? Take it on slums, that is our job. And if you think we the clips, then you hit it on the knob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yo, man, my that man nigga Pac-Man. Damon wins and Colors, Bust it in on my man's, man. They did him bad, man. <laughs> Left him laying in the bed like a baby with a big dick, man. <laughs> 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 That's the that funniest nigga, line. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Movie. When that nigga was Who rapping did him in the like back that? of that bag. Hey, man did him like that. Black man nigga was like, you take it now, slob. It's our Stop job. saying and that. They, they watched this, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's the movie, man. It's the movie. Yeah, that's, they ain't going to give a fuck about that. They ain't these the niggas. Yeah, they ain't tripping. Yeah, they ain't yeah, tripping. Nah, <laughs> my bad. Excuse me. But, yeah, that nigga, David Wayans and that motherfucker, man. Colors was a classic. This guy's a blood. Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, Rocket. Don't you? I about when they that whooped that Don nigga ass. You know another one? They whooped his they, ass and put his face on the nah, grill. Nah, you know another one that they all talk about? Uh, what's my man? Glenn Plummer. South Central. South Central. OG Bobby man, Jones. South your Central, your son out bro. there breaking in car. <laughs> what? Jimmy's only 10 years old. At that age, they don't ask no questions. <laughs> And then the nigga told gotta the whole go. story. That nigga said, gotta go, Bobby. Can you go to him? That nigga told him the whole story. Remember, he got all them little boys breaking in them cars, and he give them $10, $20, maybe, maybe. He can sell those same radios for $100. New house for Ray Ray. Ray. New Man. car for, for Ray Ray. Ray Ray, <laughs> Ray, Ray run me <laughs> off the set. Hey, what about my favorite hell. Hey, hell. one of my favorite scenes on I'll South be- Central is when that nigga Black Ron saved my man from, uh, from getting raped by the uh, white dudes. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. this is a man. <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> this a man. He was like, why well, need 25 carton cigarettes? <laughs> this a man. <laughs> that man said, I want this dessert for 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> 10 bucks of cigarettes. Lots and lots of cigarettes. Lots of cigarettes. 15 that nigga bucks. Said, I'm going to talk and you're you going to listen. <laughs> I have a son. <laughs> and I was on him about the way he dressed. <laughs> and I said, put your shoulders up. Oh, dad. <laughs> Behavior like that is whole young life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my that's God, a movie, man. Bro. That's a movie, that's, that's bro. That's South Central, man. Since then, I've been committing me some robbery with a hot baby. <laughs> <laughs> Loco. Loco, Just man. give me the drink. <laughs> Let me get you high, baby. Because I got the rock. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Pull the car over. That was a cold ass bro, movie. Bro, that's a cold ass movie, it was, bro. bro. That shit was good. Cool. You try to watch that shit with your Johnson. kids? Mm-hmm. My, Where my you daughter, at? My daughter can't sit through the shit that I like, man. Bro, they hate our I old remember shit, my man. I, man, my daughter hurt my feelings so bad. I was trying to show her wrestling from when I was a young WWF Never gave wrestler. Never gave no, man, hated it. I was trying to show her. I, I mean, I'm talking about classic matches. I'm talking about, I'm trying to show her. Remember when, when uh, Shawn Michaels threw Marty Jannetty through the glass on Brutus the Barber yeah, Beefcake yeah, Show? Yeah, yeah. She was like, Daddy, why is this so violent? I'm like, fat, it's not real. She was like, well, if it's not real, why do you care? I said, go upstairs. Just go, go upstairs. She had real logical reasons on why you shouldn't been go watching upstairs, that shit man. when you was her. Go age. upstairs. I've been trying to force her to like, the shit that I, I'm talking about now yeah. that she, you know, she kind of a little bit more receptive to it now. The only thing that we didn't watch that she was cool with was The Last Dragon, because she seen how, that's my favorite movie, and I just still act like a little boy when I watch The Last Dragon. I'm still singing and doing the moves. So you she be doing that shit? That. Huh? 
You to be doing the moves Hell in yeah. front of the TV and yes, shit. Yes, all the way, still, to this day. When you reach that upper level, your mind, body, and soul must be one. I know the break dances and everything. Nigga. When that nigga was outside, it was like, man, you <laughs> <laughs> and that nigga was wiggling out them ropes, nigga. That shit cold. <laughs> I, just, I just watched that. My favorite scene in that whole movie, though, is when Show Nuff went to the piece of real shop and broke up everything oh, yeah. and threw, that little, threw his little brother in the garbage. Oh, yeah. And his little brother had to forget him. You ain't my thing. brother. You ain't my brother. You ain't nothing. nothing. <laughs> you a sucker. They had to forget it. We looking for Leroy. I'm Leroy. Oh, you talking about Junior? Yeah, yeah. Junior. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all ever watch the penitentiary? Fly, too sweet, fly. <laughs> no. Come on, cat. Oh. The penitentiary, how did? Sweet tooth. I ain't never seen that before. Oh, yeah. Boxing? When he taught him how to box, that's why he was, when he, remember when he started oh, winning, he was like, fly, 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 sweet bro. tooth, fly. I seen penitentiary one through five. Yeah. Bro. It's you five of them? You, you ain't never seen yeah. the penitentiary? I ain't never seen oh, that. Man, that shit God. came out in like 76. Yeah. One of the greatest. Yeah. With yeah. Leon in it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I thought you was talking about Some Leon, Leon. Look just like Sugar Ray Leonard. Listen, Listen bro, bro. called Sweet Tooth. Yeah, Too Sweet. I'm talking about he looked yeah. like Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah, yeah. For real? Yep. I gotta watch that. That shit cold. Penitentiary. That's a cold ass movie, bro. I got my boy Don when he was in this shit, Devil in the Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's why I went, I got him, yeah, that's uh, confused yeah. with the Mo Better, Mo Better Blues. Blues right. Now, another one, too, when he was Earl the Goat, Man of Goat. Oh, yeah, the Goat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Goat. Rebound. That nigga said that nigga was taking coins off the top of the backboard. Yeah. That Earl Manigo was jumping up taking coins hey, yo, off kid, the top of the backboard. Hey, yo, kid, what's your name? Earl Manigo. Did he say Nanny Goat? Now, that nigga <laughs> Earl Manigo jumped up with some chucks on and touched the top of the backboard. Oh, when he snatched the dollar yeah, off that bitch. Yeah, when he snatched the dollar off the top of the backboard with some Chuck Taylor. Cooley High used to be my shit, too, though. Oh, Cooley High sad as a motherfucker, man. Hell, no. Nah, that's no, that no, no, when they killed Coach Come on, Mama. When they really. killed Coach Cheek, man, listen, bro. I'm talking about before they killed Coach Cheek. Man, man, I don't care. They, they ain't had to do Coach Cheek like that, bro. No, nah, they didn't. They didn't, bro. They didn't. We got, we needed this segment, man, for classic black cinema. Any, yeah. Any yeah. honorable mentions in there? Oh, it's plenty of honorable mentions. Lackawanna man. Blues. Lackawanna Blues. Uh, what else? What's another classic black movie that most people don't? Rosewood. Warriors. Warriors. Well, Warriors wasn't really black. Touch out the Game Bang for real. Yeah, I mean, that was the original Game Bang. Yeah. Warriors. Come out and play. Can you dig it? <laughs> Color the purple. That's that's. Color purple. Oh, yeah. Beloved. 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 Uh, Beloved. 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 I want you to touch me on the inside. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back to the '70s. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, you got the collectivize Willie Dynamite. Oh, mm. well, I'm gonna throw up the education. I've been walking out. Anytime I see steps, that's more than 12 steps. That's how I walk down Sideways. the steps. Sideways. Sideways. <laughs> you think you're so tough with your pretty black bitches and, and your, your fancy cars <laughs> and your. And your hundred dollar fur coat. Hundred dollars? <laughs> this is lamb! <laughs> this is lamb! <laughs> you forgot one thing, Sarge. And what's that? Those pretty white ones that work for me too. Yeah, that nigga said, I've moved every bitch in every kind of place. And one thing I've learned is you got to collectivize. Or you crumble. <laughs> <laughs> So you telling me that I got some of the coldest animals and they can only run in certain parts of the jungle? <laughs> Willie. That nigga was talking well, about What if he has a bigger stable? Does he get more real estate? <laughs> Yeah, that was a cold meat. Man, that movie so mother. That's a cold meat. Then this nigga right went there. and did 40 years on Sesame Street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got that big bag. One, two, <laughs> three, three, four, five. five. Yep, that nigga went from Red Dynamite nigga. and was on that on Sesame Street literally for 40 With years. With the little bandana tied to the side. Well, that boy, I tell you, that's a show that had me in the headlock, too. That Sesame Street, boy. No, man, what's that we one to, with Barry White? Mama, it, was Barry like White. A, it was like adult comedy, though. It had Barry White. It was cartoon. Man, I, Barry White was one of the voices on the cartoon, bro. 
Oh, it was CJ the and the Bear. I think so. It was a cartoon though. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It was a cartoon. Not no, it was no. like it was a C. It was a bear, little, little black boy and, and a bear. So, C. Bear and Jamal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C. Bear and Tone Lope was on that yeah. shit too. Yeah. C. Bear and Jamal. I think Jamal. Dick Gregory was a voice on that too, wasn't he? Oh, he, he may have been. been. <clears throat> but yeah, that Sesame Street boy. We went to Sesame Place when I was a young nigga, man. It fucked you up. What? I'm talking about the happiest I've ever been. See, that's why I, I, I grew up in the '80s, and it was kind of fucked up the type of shit that we were entertained by, like. Everything that we was watching on TV, if we would have seen it in real life, would have scared the fuck out of us. <laughs> like a fucking Fraggle Rock. <laughs> the fuck is a Fraggle? <laughs> and these little motherfuckers had talent too, and most of their shit sound kind of like a rendition of the Jackson 5. Even when the shit come on, you just see these little weird ass Fraggles pop up. Let the music play. Work is for another day, they chilling, but they working at the same time, just being fraggles. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Jim Henson was getting high in a sure motherfucker. Pull it up. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Rock. Shit was crazy. Shit was like come on, man. These motherfuckers used to come up like where the humans lived and shit and try not to get killed, just be out was it fucking a with people. Or like oh, a these fr- nigga, these motherfuckers had whole lives where they would go on vacation real? and travel across the country and all this shit. Boy, my People little, would come spend the I, night. I tell you, my little brother, boy, that nigga Bonnie and Lamb Chops. That my, little, my baby brother, he tortured us with that. That Lamb Chops, bruh. Oh my God, that Barney, nigga Antoine chop. Bean used to be on that Bonnie and that. But I can't even lie. Now as a grown man, when I go back and watch some of them Bonnie episodes, Bonnie and them was jamming on that motherfucker. I like to eat, eat. Eat apples and bananas. Barney oh, had rap right beef here. and didn't even know it. He said he had a Webby beef. got a line where he said, Barney probably loses man, I'm laid up with baby, baby bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good thing y'all ain't got a young baby, cause that Coco Melon shit it drive me crazy. Yeah. But some of that shit be rocking though, I ain't gonna lie. They got a lot of black shows now. now yeah, but where, like they, it sound like whole rap man, songs. My, like, yeah, nah, they got that, well, what's, what's that something corner that the kids be watching now? Gracie's Corner. Backyard yeah, against go yeah, in, boy. Shit. Backyard against out there that shit produced by yeah. DJ Drama on God. <laughs> yeah. My daughter was on that, on that Dora. Door to Explore, and then it was this, this this cartoon that used to come on PBS Kids called Super Why. Oh, so basically what y'all are saying is y'all want to create an educational show for some black kids. Oh, yeah. what? We need, okay, yeah. let's do it. We need some people who know how to work puppets and shit. I know we'll do the voices. All you got to do is do the puppet shit. We're right. going to teach black kids. But we're going to have the kids. We're going to do real black shit. Well, we're going to teach them how to pay a bill. Yeah. This <laughs> is a bill. Yeah. The numbers on this bill is real. Yeah. So when you're in the house and you want to chill, cut the light off just a little or you might Might get a bill. Bill. Yeah. Bill. Bill. Come on. We got to have puppets that like teach the kids. What? Oh no, kids. What is he doing? I'm cutting y'all cable off. (laughs) It's racism. It's racism. The racism dog. Come on. Hey. I know you didn't say what I thought you said. Well, put your hands on me, and if you ain't scared, cause I'm a nigga. Oh, no. Hello, kids. Don't ever let nobody call you, you a nigga. nigga. <laughs> Unless you a nigga like me. <laughs> right. Nigga man's getting locked up again. Yeah. He just got out of prison. Yeah. And I'm going back, kids. Don't yeah. let me be right. an example. <laughs> You let somebody call your nigga, you may end up in prison. <laughs> my whole oh, next thing oh, 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 oh my god, bro. It's prison. <laughs> and they come out. Oh, oh my god. What's up, kids? You niggas ready to go to the slammer? No! Can you spell slammer? <laughs> Can you spell slammer? S L A M M E R. Slammer. slammer. That nigga said, <laughs> We'll <laughs> lock <laughs> your <laughs> ass in the slammer. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do that, bro. Teach hey, the black. Shatter, bro. You. How you keep it? Oh no, kids! <laughs> it's heroin! <laughs> <laughs> Molly! <laughs> 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 Look, you 
got all the drugs hanging out together, G. <laughs> you got all the drugs hanging out together. Hammer will wake up. <laughs> it's difficult to wake up when we all have <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, kids. I can't seem to lift my spirit. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, that's the one right mm -hmm. there. Let's teach the kids the real way. Let's do it. We got to do it, man, all the way. We'll do three episodes and then get discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that's all you need is three. That bitch is going to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, nigger bear is going back to jail. <laughs> Don't let nobody call you a nigger <laughs> unless you's a nigger like me. See you next week. All right. <laughs> My dad got caught stealing out the grocery store. How Rude Tanneritos is the Full House Rewatch podcast you've been waiting for. Each week, get together with iconic characters Stephanie Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, also known as actresses Jodie Sweetin and Andrea Barber, as they team up to relive every episode of your favorite Friday night comfort show. We spent our entire childhoods on a little show called Full House, playing frenemies, but becoming besties whenever the cameras weren't rolling. And now, 35 years later, it's our biggest adventure yet. Get ready for Jodie and Andrea to tell all as they take an in-depth look back at life in and around the Tanner home from the very, very very beginning. So if you think you know everything there is to know about Full House, how rude. We'll be reliving every moment with you and we'll be joined by our Full House family, including all your favorites from 192 episodes. We'll reveal the hidden treasures you may have missed within the show and we'll take a trip down memory lane together. Listen to How Rude Tanneritos on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. My name's Laverne Cox. I'm an actress, producer, fashionista, and host of The Laverne Cox Show. You may remember my award-winning first season. I've been pretty busy, but there's always time to talk to incredible guests about important things. People like me have been screaming for years, we gotta watch the Supreme Court. What they're doing is wrong. What they're doing is evil. They will take things away. And I can only hope that Dobbs is that, like, Pearl Harbor moment. Girl, you and I both know what it took to just get through the day in New York City and get home in one piece. And so the fact that we're here and what you've achieved and what I've achieved, you know, that's momentous. It's not just us sitting around complaining about some bills. The only reason that you might think, as Chase said, that we're always miserable is because people are constantly attacking us and we're constantly noticing it. Listen to The Laverne Cox Show on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share. Hola, mi gente. This is Wilmer Valderrama, executive producer of the new podcast, De My Abuelita First, part of iHeartRadio's My Cultura Podcast Network. Each week, host Vico Ortiz and Abuelita Liliana Montenegro will play matchmaker for a group of hopeful romantics who are putting their trust in Abuelita to find them a date. Your job right now is to get on Abuelita's really good side. Our Abuelita definitely knows best. On Date My Abuelita First, three single contestants will vie for a date with one lucky main dater, except to get their heart, they have to win over Abuelita Liliana first. Oh, Hi, Liliana. Yes, we are ready for love. Through speed dating rounds, hilarious games, and Liliana's intuition, one contestant will either be a step closer to getting that pan dulce, if you know what I mean, or a step closer to getting that chancleta. Let's see if chispas will fly or if these singles will be sent back to the dating apps. Listen to Date My Abuelita First on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey guys, it's Angie Martinez. Check out my podcast, Angie Martinez IRL, where we have beautiful conversations with all types of people, from Kelly Rowland to Mike Tyson to Kim Kardashian to JT from the City Girls. These are conversations about real life. We talk about love and death and our mental health and how we navigate all the ups and downs of life. And I promise every episode, there'll be a takeaway for you to use in your own real life. Check out Angie Martinez IRL on the iHeartRadio app, on Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Are you ready for a second season of the Super Secret Bestie Club podcast? My name is Curly. And I'm Maya. Oh my goodness. Let's say a little prayer before we start this. 
this is going to be the best podcast episode we've ever done in our freaking lives. That's right. Season two. Super Season secret, two, baby. Super secret super bestie secret, club. Super, super secret super bestie club. Super secret bestie club. <laughs> <laughs> this is a best friends club, and you can definitely sit with us. Each week, we'll talk about relationships, heartbreaks, and of course, our favorite L word. Love. And horoscopes and astrology according to our point of view of course we're not oracles but we know a toxic virgo when we see one i'm i'm pointing to curly Woohoo! listen to the super secret bestie club as part of the my cultura podcast network available on the iheart radio app apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts that's crazy man we should do something for the kids oh, no, kids it's booster bear <laughs> <laughs> Got some lotions, got some socks. <laughs> we can't buy that stuff, Booster Bear. Why not? Because it's stolen. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's that boy. Oh, my funny. God. That'd be hilarious, bro. Niggas be kicking all these good ideas on here and don't listen. That's all I'm saying. Don't let these niggas pick up on this. What you doing, though? Yeah, They'll be done already. Yeah, this is this is uh, you know, creative intellectual property yeah, right yeah. here. You know what I mean? All we waiting on now is some people to hit us back about the puppets. There's somebody out there that make them too, boy. We get some puppets, Joe. The we get some puppets, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Chico, did you <laughs> see this? Do the voices for the puppets? Somebody made us some light up pussy. The pussy pierced on the ashtray. Wow. Fuck me up. That's crazy. If Everybody I get the pussy look like this, I would be terrified. Why you say that? Why? That because mother. look how the lips are shaped. They like oh, yeah, she wedge. Got, she got somewhere to stay. Like your, man, maybe you your are. pussy lips look <laughs> like chips and like fries. That's crazy. Stop, I don't man. You no. can't be pussy particular, it's man. A, it's a, there ain't I'm no, just saying that no pussy got somewhere to stay. Like some mouths on that. No, man. no, ain't nothing that's shaped like this. She ain't it's worried a, about it's nothing. It's a um, reflection of what it could. This is crazy. I mean, would you even feel comfortable look, using this? Yes. Yeah. Is oh, it a different level of arousal? And I'll probably lick the ashes up out this place. <laughs> Turn it off. So you do but too dude, much. You do too much. Damn. That's why I don't take you nowhere, God, man. Damn. Bro, what is wrong with you, my nigga? You're like, man, bang, why you tongue that color? What? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. What you been eating ashes? Nah, I've been nah. Yeah. Yeah, damn. Yeah, that's tough. Be careful, man. I don't do nobody like that. Fuck around and eat some shit you can't swallow. <laughs> I don't even want you to elaborate on yeah, this. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one just see it. I'm not even going where it's living. <laughs> Netflix yeah, we and gotta, chill. We, we now part it. of the official yeah, Netflix sir. and chill. Yeah. I, yeah. Man, look. Man, you know how many black children gonna be born because of this? Yeah. Come on, All bro. Right. All the way, without question. It's going down. We Somebody got something go. to do with the black population now. Yeah, we yeah. showing them that we are well above what they thought we were. This shit is just amazing, man. Shout out to everybody who's been fucking with us since day one. I don't know what your day one is. I don't know if your day one was from Steve's studio. I don't know if your day one was Brick Wall. I don't know if you was around during the back room sessions. I don't know if you were there when we moved to the trap. I don't know if you was, I don't know where you been. I don't know where, when you started this journey, but at whatever point you, you got on and stayed on, I told you. Now we going even bigger. We trying to get us a special on Disney Channel <laughs> With Mickey Mouse and them. Nah, we bringing our own. 85 South Show on we bring, ice. We bringing our own puppets. <laughs> we bringing our own puppets for the kids on the Disney Channel. Puppet, we gonna be we, a puppet oh, want to no, do a kids. <laughs> yeah, boy, I can't wait. We gonna, we gonna have a Sesame Street it's run. It's AIDS. <laughs> right. Oh, it's AIDS. It's AIDS. <laughs> Y'all too graphic. Nah, this is, you got to do it, bro. Hey man, it's- you shouldn't do that. Why not? Cause your mama might whoop 
our ass. She whooped the both of us. Whoop our ass. She whooped the both. It's just simple legs. Yeah, all the way. You know what I mean? Oh, no, kids. Who's that? You know what it is. It's Dookie. <laughs> Not Dookie. P.U. Yeah, it's me, P.U. In the building. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Too graphic for the Too kids. Too graphic. Then P.U. That's how you teach the kids how to be clean. You know what I mean? Make P. sure you wipe your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> All the way, G. It's live, man. We gotta, we gotta, man. We gotta watch the watch Black the Black kids are respond. They, they are, you know, like able to respond to those type of messages yeah. better. Yeah, all the way. Especially musically, like right. there's some music involved. And you know how every episode should start off? How? Somebody dropping the kid, like a, like a single mom dropping the kid off, trying to explain where she going. <laughs> I'm going downtown to look for work. You're just gonna have to stay here on the educational corner till I get back. <laughs> <laughs> educational corner. <laughs> We're teaching you outside in the streets. <laughs> boy, boy, you know how many people want to take their kids to educational corner? <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, it'd be a corner. We standing on the corner, and all this shit happen on this corner. That looks just like my block. This is your block. <laughs> and you are welcome to come to it. All kids are welcome here on the Educational Corner. And guess what we're learning today? See over there? <laughs> That's enough. All right, that's see. Enough. That's enough. All right, we're done. All right, we're done. Yeah, we going huh? this way. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah you on the show. Man, 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 first episode. We're going to kick this we're nigga off the corner. We're sorry, girls. We had to replace mailman Otis for being insensitive. Yeah. Can you say insensitive? <laughs> oh, no, kids. He's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, kids. Mailman Otis will no longer be on the show. You don't have to worry about none of those mean letters or hard words that you've been saying to us. We apologize on behalf of Mailman Otis. Matter of fact, we're going to go paperless. Can you say paperless? paperless? Right. All the way. The fucked up part, Mailman Otis going to come back as another character. Hey! You look familiar. I told you. <laughs> you see them niggas over there? <laughs> Come on, here. Nobody it's nobody call you no nigga. <laughs> this nigga gonna be like, this nigga gonna be like swiper off, off the door. <laughs> Keep popping back up. Oh, oh she go. I just noticed. We may have been a victim of a theft. What? It looks like somebody attempted to steal our Slick Johnson signature pair of civil rights boots. Cause the glass gone off them. Yeah. Man, somebody stole the glass to put them on their shoes. Oh no, kids, it's Booster Bear. Hey, I got this glass for y'all, man. Man, that's our glass. Used to be your glass. Oh my goodness, that shit crazy. <laughs> Don't man. let nobody call you a nigga. <laughs> Hey man, we need sponsored somebody. in part by if, if Chico make, Color Beer. <laughs> if you make dolls, man, if you make them puppets, man, holler at us, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy our own puppets. Bit, we uh, need the educational bro, corner puppets. Oh that should be crazy. Education. Don't make them perfect either. Make them look kind of fucked up. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not yeah. like no. fucked, Not up, fucked, fucked up, fucked up, but kind of like ugly tell. enough to get the point across. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The educational corner. What I will say is, don't make them. Tr don't try to make them look like us. We want some real puppets, yeah. and I want my shit to be like blue or purple yeah, or something. One of those colors that kids can get them. Yeah, gravitate towards, yeah. right. All the way. And no, we will not be using curse words. Not on the kids. Not show, for no. the not kids. The <laughs> no, no. Educational hey, call. It would be funny no. if we made it an adult show, bruh. Yeah, <laughs> it probably it would end up being an adult show, show for yeah. with the kids shit. That that'd be hilarious, yes. because we can add so much more in there. If it's an adult show for kids, that's something we cannot keep. Clean. <laughs> kids show it's just for too adults. much to keep clean, bro. That's too much.
Yeah, kids show for adults. Nigga said, here is hair run for a child. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hair but run. Stay, you stay away from it. Right, but now. Yeah, you got to stay away from it. You but know what I mean? y'all, you're a terrible person. But you got to change it now, because you know what I mean? Oh, no, kids, who's that? It's Perk 30. Yeah. Not Perk 30. <laughs> I'm Percocet. I'm used for pain. Some of them people use another thing. <laughs> Supposed to be used for Mr. Perk 30? Ah, well. Oh, after surgery and stuff, <laughs> don't put Percocets in your butt. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, Perk 30, you gone too far. Mr. The mailman. Hey, don't let no The mailman, hold this cup back. Every time you say the wrong shit, I see it. You see the nigga die? <laughs> Hey man, every time <laughs> niggas say the wrong shit, they getting hauled off. Gotta come back as another character. You gotta come back as another character, bro. You got to. That's hilarious, man. You just keep getting put off the show and coming back as somebody different. I'm um, a piece of man pack. <laughs> Looks an awful lot like me. Yo, man, man oh, this is me. <laughs> 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 oh you man! You see them goddamn? <laughs> hey man, that's the recurring theme of the show right there. This nigga just keep coming Peace back. He's the man Pat would no longer be with us, cause he was being insensitive. Can you say insensitive? That's classic, man. Oh my god! With that. Oh man, what are we gonna take over next? The world, pinky in the brain. You trying to go over there, and BBT Plus, BT or some Tyler Perry? Tyler Perry got it. Yeah, shit. Tyler Perry got it. Tyler Perry, in there, man, we need to get Tyler Perry in here, man. Facts. You think Tyler he'll Perry. come over here? Yeah, he'll come over he'll here. He'll come here, us, man. Yeah. You know Tyler Perry? Nah, I don't. But I feel like Clayton you know, know us. the nigga. Yeah, he feel like he know us. He know who we is. You think so? He I know. feel like we do. I feel he like might he not. Do. He knows. I feel like he he probably don't know nobody that he didn't create. If he didn't have something to do with it, he ain't gonna. Like, I, it's what now? I think Tyler Perry. 285 North. He might. I think he knows. He, he know y'all is, bro. Yeah, I Trust think me. so. And I think he'll come in. You think? <laughs> I don't know. He know, bro. You think so? I believe. I know he know. Do we need to reach out to him or like. I call that nigga right now. Call him. <laughs> You see them niggas? <laughs> right, it's time to go. I knew you was. It's time to go, man. He's definitely hey, coming down. Tyler. <laughs> Damn, man. He probably do watch this shit. I he probably he roll do, up. Ain't no way. Roll up a fat ass John and watch this shit. Facts. All the way. I believe. Nigga, no. Morgan Freeman watch it. I believe. Right in Mississippi, in Oxford, too. He got a house down the there. The first thing. He Jesus. probably sits there and wonders. What we're going to do next. Yeah. As we walk that. upon the stage back and forth. Wonder what these Negroes are going to accomplish as they move forward. Wow. <laughs> and they looked happy. South show. That's what we get to do the next And they looked right? happy. We're going to get As gonna happy get as a food. nigga eating cornbread, they were happy. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get, baby, we got to get Morgan Freeman to do the intro of the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll be hard. Yeah, that'll be we hard. Should, we should definitely look into that. Because now we're taking over. We're going to do some shows in Saudi Arabia or something. Where? I don't know, but we gonna, they're going to give us about a half a million for a show. Shit, I don't know. I'm just making up shit. Oh, bro. okay. <laughs> hey, nah, it feels good. You know good. what you're doing? You're doing the B. Simone. You're manifesting. Oh. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Would y'all do a prison show? Nope. I'm not going to prison for nothing. Why not? Nope. Do a prison show? No. Niggas in prison don't want to be there. Why the fuck would I go voluntarily? <laughs> <laughs> and well, they going to understand that. I mean, they well, made a point. point made. Nope. I'm not doing it. But I'm saying, no. I, I, would, don't I might prison, not go do a nothing. prison show, but I would, I, would, I would advocate for them to be able to watch us in prison. I'll do a yeah, prison Yeah, they should show. definitely be able they to watch. They should be able to watch us in prison. I'll do a prison show. You know I've been man? on the outside looking think, in instead of inside looking they, out. I think they, because they watch, they, they get to watch Wild and Out in prison, so. No, they you know, don't. Yes, yeah, they the do. fuck they do. Yes, they do, boy. You get your head knocked off if you turn. No, on TV. They want to see Wild and Out girls and shit. Since when? 
thing. Since forever, bro. You know how I many niggas come home, especially from the feds. But we in had to watch Jerry Pen- Sprinkle to see some ass up nah, in there nah, back nah, in the Federal day. penitentiary, man. Everybody that come home from the <laughs> feds be like, bro, that was my wild and out was my shit in prison. But we'll take the goddamn. Don't wait till you're in prison to girl. start watching comedy. The insurance girl, <clears throat> Clo- uh, Cl- Flo, yeah. the sexy bitch on TV in that motherfucker. On God. They don't show you a lot of women in there because you. <laughs> Flo, bro. From Progressive. I done gun Flo down so many times. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck? Otis will no longer be on the show with us. Because he has been insensitive. <laughs> Don't uh, nobody call you a nigga. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying he was with it too. I'm telling you, bro. Man, man, Otis will no longer be with us. <laughs> bro, float. All right. I feel you though, man. Yeah, uh, but they I ain't show a lot of shit I'm back when I was going to jail back in the day. They ain't show a lot of, you know what I'm saying? While or not, y'all it's, it's sexy women on there. They ain't doing all that. Hey, well, you were just wasn't in the feds. Huh? They do it in the feds. Now, today, they yeah. wasn't doing it back then. You right? ain't go to the feds. No. So, yeah. yeah shut up. Yeah. Yeah. They still was in jail for a weekend, bro. You act like you did so much time. I did, I did yeah. 35 years, brother. <laughs> the fuck you did? I've been locked up, I've been locked up, I've been in shackles all my life. That motherfucker did one weekend, yeah. bro. Got out I Monday. I did two business days. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I was in jail, nigga don't know what they were watching. That TV didn't change the whole I'm weekend. To he done jerked yeah. off the floor the whole two days. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you ain't even had to <laughs> jerk off. They ain't even had to do that shit. He done jerked off the floor for two then. days. I'm trying to tell you, they ain't used to show you shit like that. They make you... <laughs> There's a bunch of niggas yeah. in there. Why would they show you something to get you aroused? They showed you stupid <laughs> shit. Maury. You got to be happy that a bitch... The, I used to be happy when the baby wasn't the nigga because the bitch going to run off and we going to see that ass <laughs> bounce. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be like, please don't be this nigga's baby. <laughs> bro, something wrong with this I'm nigga. I'm dead man. ass serious, bro. This nigga said, oh, I know you wish. are. That's the part that's fucked that's up about it. That's why this nigga's crazy. He used to wish they wasn't the daddy so he could see the girl run, run off. So that ass. <laughs> and then you got to get, that's a short Then run. you got to take mental pictures of, clap, 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 Hey, man, I'm going to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, Y'all crazy. I, it's yeah, ten niggas out there with blankets. <laughs> Money back, what's you your... You are not... Can that run be short? <laughs> you are not the father. You got to throw that blanket over your head real quick. <laughs> hey, man, on that note, this... <laughs> this 85 South Show... And, I'm and taking we don't, my mic on. Uh, hold on, hold on. No, hold up, hold up. This is 85 South Show. And mailman Otis will no, not no, be... No, no, Because he was being insensitive. Can you say insensitive? Don't let nobody... <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we out here. Oh my god, man. <laughs> that nigga is stupid. The War Within, the Robert Bale story, is a podcast that unpacks the controversial crimes of an American soldier, anchored by exclusive interviews with the man himself. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I am wrong. But you have to understand the way it went down. The series aims to answer lingering questions around what happened one tragic night in Afghanistan. Bale's actions are merely a symptom of a broken army. Listen to The War Within on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. In the 70s, the warehouse took over Chicago nightlife, and the club's DJ would go on to make history. Frankie made sure that you felt it in your soul. Learn more about the rise of house music on the history of the world's greatest nightclubs, a 12-part podcast about the iconic venues and people that revolutionized how we party. Listen to the history of the world's greatest nightclubs on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hello, and welcome to Bad Manners. This is the podcast that takes you inside Britain's stately homes and tells all the tales the guidebooks don't. My name is Tom Horton, and I'll be your host. I'm on a mission to find out the frightening, filthy, and downright jaw-dropping stories of these stately homes and the people in them. Listen to Bad Manners on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. LA is expansive. There's nearly 10 million people living here, and it comes with a lot of noise. 
but if you tune those sounds out and listen close, you'll hear the real LA. What up, B Star? Hey, Jim. I'm going to be a father? Yes. You feeling this? A fiction podcast mixtape about love. Listen to it on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. This is a special transmission from M and Jem, and we're setting the navigation back to Earth. Why? You promised we would stop on Zorp for those flango fries. We can go back for them later. We need to pick up some clean suits and fuel up because we have a lot more flights to do and we start now. Who's flying with us this time? Tell me. You know that's classified information. Ooh. Strap in tight and join us for season two of In Our Own World, part of the My Cultura Podcast Network. Available on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. See you soon.